What's in the bell feedback pane? Hello, in this video, I will show you what's in the bell feedback scan pane. In the bell feedback scan pane, you can configure your personal scans here. Log name. You can use the name or initials and condition to differentiate this scan from others. Start frequency and finish frequency. This define the range of frequencies in your input sweep. If you know the bandwidth of organisms you are looking for, Enter its lower and upper limits here. Initial step size defines the subranges to divide the sweep. You can use specific frequency or percentage to specify the initial step size. 100 Hz means that Spooky2 will search in discrete blocks of 100 Hz. And a good percentage to use is 0.025%. Decimal places. It is the level of accuracy you want. Good values are 5 for frequencies lower than 600 Hz or 2 over 600 Hz. The more decimals, the more scan time it is. Max hit to find. Each hit you find will take 3 minutes to treat. So entering 10 means that your results will take 30 minutes to apply in contact or plasma modes. Samples per step. Samples are reading of the bell feedback device. Set to 1, frequencies will be checked just once. Higher values increase accuracy, but take proportionately more time. Loops get a more accurate scan. You can do more than one loop through the scan frequency range. Start delay. This is measured in heartbeats. If you enter 60, Spooky2 will start the sweep, giving you the time taken by your heart to beat 60 times to get ready. Threshold This value sets the upper limit for which the bell feedback scores that are less than the threshold are discarded from the result. Setting this to zero will include all hits. S duration is the estimated time in minutes of the scan. Then, let's check the detect way here. Choose whether to detect the maximum or minimum in values. This applies to BPM, HRV, current, angle, or angle plus current. If change is ticked, it measures change between values rather than absolute value. BPM is beats per minute in pulse scan. HRV means heart rate reliability in pulse scan. Angle detects the difference of phase angle between the voltage and current in GX scan. Current detects current absorbed in GX scan. Angle plus current detects the sum of the angle plus current in GX scan. In most cases, selecting max is correct, with the exception of using Spooky2 pulse to look for healing frequencies, in which case you use minimum. Let's check the calculate using here. Running average is best for longer scans where the heart rate falls and remains steady. Peak is best for short scans where the rate is unlikely to change very much. 2 dp max is not used for body scans, so it's grayed out if the frequency column is empty. This control is used only when you use bell feedback scan for program optimization. Single scan. Take this and Spooky2 will scan once with no reinspection. If ticked, after the initial scan, the values are refined. Great program tests database programs for efficiency. Refine plus or minus. The amount of hertz to use in the refining process for every found frequency f in the initial scan, given a refined value r, the range from f minus r through i plus r is scanned. In the after scan, run hits. If ticked, after the scan completes, the found frequencies are run for treatment. Continue refining hits. If ticked, after the first scan and treatment, the subsequent scans are refinement of the previous scan. Run on gen. If a non-zero value is entered, the treatment phase of run hits is performed in this generator. Repeat is the number of times to repeat a scan and run process. If zero, 
the run heat repeats until you stop it. You can start the scan by clicking the scan button, not the start button here. I click scan. As the software is in test mode, it is emulating biofeedback scan now. First is the start delay. You can see it shows the BPM and HRV here, also their average number. If it's a generator X scan, angle is the measured phase angle from the generator X. Current is the measured current from the generator X. This is the bell feedback graph, where a graph depicting the values read in the bell feedback scan. Drawing a scan, it will scroll from right to left in real time. When no spooky to pulse is connected or you are in test mode, you see spooky pulse not detected, emulating BPM. When you connect a pulse or are connected to a generator X, a real graph is shown. Sample graph. This graphic indicates which sample is being read where the number of samples is specified in samples per step. When the scan finishes, Spooky2 will give a list of found frequencies. You should save these frequencies with a descriptive program name. If you close the scan results window in error, click the Analyze button to reopen it. Analyze will bring up an open dialog for you to choose an older raw scan data file to open for analysis. The parameters like detect, change, and threshold are used to determine the scan results. Analyze Plus Like Analyze, but combines either BPM and HRV, or current and angle. Baseline performs a baseline scan. The baseline scan allows you to measure the effect of the environment on the scanning equipment, which is for generator X only. In subsequent scans, the environmental influence is subtracted from the scan results. You must use the exact same biofeedback preset to run the baseline scan, as you use for the real scans. The small button is Erase Baseline Scan. It erases the current baseline scan, and subsequent scans will not use a baseline until you create a new baseline scan. Baseline before BFB. If ticked, when you click the scan button, a baseline operation will happen before the bell feedback scan. Using this option provides the most accurate scan possible. Okay, thanks for watching this video.